When it comes to the context of the Quran, perhaps there has been no treacherous figure mentioned more so than Pharaoh. History teaches us that the Pharaohs had set up certain mystery schools that played a prominent role in the mass control of the hearts, minds, and status of the masses. The members of these mystery schools were exposed to some of the deepest and darkest secrets of the Pharaohs, including the summoning of demon spirits which would assist them in the performance of magic. These demon spirits were usually depicted as serpents in most of the artwork of the Pharaohs. As such, no matter how high and divine the Pharaoh claimed to be, the snake was always placed above his head, signifying the amount of respect they placed towards the serpent, the representative of Satan, the master behind the scenes. The members of the mystery schools were eventually placed into highly influential positions of rulership. Together they set up a pyramid structure of power, placing themselves the elite on top. By setting up this system, they would thus become in complete control of the religious, monetary, judicial, agricultural, and medicinal aspects of the society. By this, no common man would be able to acquire medicine to heal his wounds, food to feed his family, or prayers to save his soul without having to go through the system first, to which he would always have to pay a great price. As such, the masses become completely dependent on this pyramid. Knowing that this system would not last long before a mass revolt of the people, the elite put into play the use of magic through different forms in order to keep their people under mind control, thus allowing their system to continue to flourish. Through the summoning of demon spirits, they were able to perform visually entrancing magic to further support their claim of divinity. In addition to that, they have idolized themselves through towering statues placed in almost every corner of their cities, a repetitive image meant to establish in the subconscious of the people an idea of inferiority. Perhaps one of the greatest pharaohs in history, and the one who most perfected this pyramid system was Ramses II. He is most prominently known as the Great Builder, or Great Architect, a reference to his self-imposed divinity. Many Islamic scholars tend to discern that it is this Ramses II that Allah was referring to in the Quran as the Pharaoh of Moses' time. He was later called by his successors the Great Ancestor, due to him carrying the prominent bloodline which Interestingly enough, ended up as one of the ruling bloodlines of our time. A big sign from Allah, as tall as a mountain, has appeared in the world. How did Pharaoh die? When Pharaoh was underneath the water, drowning, then the veils were removed from off his eyes. Prior to this, he was in Adam and obstinate rejection of the truth which had come from Moses, alayhi salam. I will worship your God, and I am the Lord most high. But when the veils were removed from the off the eyes while he was drowning, now he realized, well, boy, you're not God anymore. That is the true God that they worship, Moses and the Israelites. And so he declared his faith that the God of Moses and the Israelites, as he was drowning. And Allah then said to him, Now feel Allah. What I say to come and before this you were in arrogant, obstinate rebellion and rejected. What and you are in negligence of the truth for the old man and the cheek and the mother and the kiss day. 
we have decided to preserve your physical body. لِجَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً So that your physical body, when it is rediscovered, when it resurfaces in history, your physical body will be a sign from the Lord. interesting comment that the universe is not stranger than you imagine the universe is stranger than you can imagine uh, I don't see how anyone could possibly um, <coughs> say that they are well informed about the modern day world and not realize the importance of this country has played in the development of Europe and the rest of the world if the Qur'an is meant to be a book of all times, then viewing it as such would bring up the question, who are the people of the Pharaoh today?